Hi, my name's Annie and I'm here at the Maitland Regional Art Gallery on Wanarua Country to show you how you can create your own puppet portraits inspired by this artwork here by Claudia Mudanuthi. Claudia Mudanuthi is an Indigenous artist well known for her colourful artworks inspired by her family, language and country. This work here is a puppet portrait of her great aunt, Mrs Gabori, who was also an artist. Mundanuthi has used lots of different materials like a feather boa and paintbrushes to express the personality of her subject. So I'm going to show you how you can make your own puppet portraits inspired by your friends or your family using materials that you have at home. The materials you'll need to make your puppet are just a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll, whatever you have at home, some coloured textures or pens, scissors, glue or tape, and some coloured paper or white paper that you can colour in. So the first step to making the puppet is to make these fun springy arms and legs. So I'll show you how to make some of those. You'll just need two strips of paper like this that you cut out and then you put a little bit of glue on one end and stick them together like this, like an L. And then you just start folding them so one across, and then this one straight down, and then keep going like that. And when you get to the end, you just glue this top piece down like this. And when you stretch it out, you have your arm or leg. So I'm going to cut out some little feet to stick on the end. I'll just glue those right on like that. There we go. So there are my two legs and here are my arms with little hands on the ends. And they're ready to go. So for the next step, I'm going to be drawing the circle for the face. So I'll just draw a circle, cut it out and draw a face on it. So first I'll draw the circle. Go. And I'm going to draw a face on it and I'm going to make a self-portrait. So now that I've finished drawing the face, I'm going to start assembling the puppet. So the first step is to make some clothes. So I'm just gonna use pieces of colored paper and cut them out to fit around the uh, cardboard roller. And I'll just use a bit of glue to stick those on. There we 
go. There we go, and I'm gonna draw some designs onto them with some colored textures, just to make them a bit more fun. There we go, and now that is all decorated, I'm going to attach the arms and legs. So I just use a little bit more glue right on the top here, and the glue should be strong enough to hold it, but if it doesn't quite stick, you can use a bit of tape instead. And then the same for the legs. Okay, and finally I'll put the face on right at the front. And now that the face is on, I'm going to make some hair and some other little bits and pieces to bring out the personality some more. So to make hair, I'm just gonna use a bit more colored paper, but you can use whatever you have at home. If you have some string, you can use that or anything you can think of. Be as creative as you want with materials. So to make my curly hair for my puppet, I'm just going to use some strips of paper and twist them around or you can wrap them around a pencil, but if you want straight hair just like this is fine. And then I'll just glue it on to the back of the head. Add some earrings. And Claudia Mudanuthi's puppet is holding some paintbrushes in her hands because it's a portrait of an artist. So I think I might have mine holding a pencil because I like to draw. So I'm just going to cut one out of some paper. And I'll glue that one onto the hand. And that's my puppet done. So if you want to take it beyond this and add some strings to it, you can use whatever sort of string you have lying around at home, whether it's wool or fishing line, and cut out a few pieces to attach to the arms. And at the very top, you'll tie them onto a stick. It could be a stick you find outside, or I've used a paper straw here. And then you'll actually be able to hold it up and control it a bit. And that's how you make your own puppet portrait inspired by Claudia Mudanuthi's artwork. 
Get creative with different kinds of materials and designs and make them as fun looking as you can. And maybe you can even make one of all of your family members and put on a puppet show.